All right, so let's go ahead and get to work my math party, people. First things first, everybody hit me. Even if this is your first class, you should know by now, what's the first thing that we're gonna do? First thing we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna read the question. That's the first thing we have to do. We have to get our bearings here and understand, hey, what is it that we need to achieve to know that we're good and we can walk away? And that's gonna be present right here in the question. How long would it take for the first plane to catch up to the other? So how long would it take the first plane to catch up to the other? So it almost sounds like we're talking about a time period and we see right here, yeah, we are given times. So we're gonna go ahead and write down that we're saying blank hours to catch up. Okay, sounds good. So let's understand the situation because for those of you who don't know, this is arithmetic reasoning unit five. This is distance, rate, and time. That's the topic that we're dealing with here. In case you didn't know, yeah, we're, we're seeing miles per hour. So for sure, you know, that's gonna be, um, mm -hmm. you know, shown there. But let's go ahead and understand the context. So imagine this. And again, as you read, you really do wanna put yourself in the position to imagine what's going on. So a plane traveling at a speed of 480 miles per hour is attempting to catch up to another plane that's 720 miles ahead. So forget the numbers, guys. Forget the numbers. Just think about the situation. We have a plane that is going this fast, trying to catch up to another plane that's over here. We're just trying to catch up. And then we see in the next sentence that the other plane is traveling at an average speed or rate of 400 miles per hour. So for those of you who are looking at this situation and saying, okay, we have distance equals rate times time for those of you saying that well we should only have one rate here typically the problem is we have two rates we have 480 miles per hour and we have 400 miles per hour that's an issue we need to understand what we're supposed to do with these rates and so for those of us who've been to these classes before and you're prepared for this, awesome job. Lavanya, Nick, I love it. I absolutely love it. You guys have been paying attention. You guys are sticklers for this. I love, you know, I enjoy seeing the enthusiasm there. So for those of us that aren't as aware, let's understand why this is the case. So let me lay out the information first and then I'll show you why we're gonna do what we're gonna do. So here's what we have everybody and here's the situation. We have the plane, the first plane, trying to catch up to the second plane. So we know, right over here, I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna say that we have, let's say, this second plane, and then here is the first plane, or yeah, this first plane catching up. So this one is going 480 miles per hour. This one is going 400 miles per hour. So, we have those two speeds, and then we are told that they are 720 miles apart in the beginning. We see that it says they are 720 miles ahead of the other plane. So we can say that this distance right here is 720 miles. Now, that's not as important as what we're gonna do with the rates, because if you take a look here, well, they give you the distance, 720 miles. We're looking for time, the number of hours to catch up, but there's only one slot for the rate. And so this is where we really have to put our brains together and think about what we're supposed to do. So here's why this is gonna work. Let me give you a different example. Let's go ahead and say that we have these two people. We have these two people and we have this first person that's going in this direction and we have another person that's going in the same direction, but they're ahead. Now let's say that these two people Let's say, let's use an easier number. Let's say that these two people are, let's go ahead and say 10 steps away from each other. Now, everybody, let's think about it like this. If every second or every clap or every beep or whatever you wanna say, if every beep or whatever, this person goes two steps and this person goes one step, my party people, 
if they are 10 steps away from each other, if they both go in one second, you know, this person takes two steps, the other person takes one step, how many steps away are they going to be after the second? How many steps away are they going to be? Think about it. If they're 10 steps away, this person takes one step, this person takes two steps, how many steps away are they now? How many steps away? Who has an answer for me? How many? I'm just asking how far apart are they after one second? If they take, if this person takes two steps every second, the other person takes one step, in one second, how far away are they now? Notice how we have all these different answers. So this is why it's so important to understand distance rate time. The answer is gonna be nine steps, not eight. It's gonna be nine. Because think about it like this, everybody. Watch this, I'm gonna use my fingers. This is how easy it is. I'm gonna use my fingers. If this person here takes one step, every time this person takes two steps, think of it like this. They're 10 steps away from each other, right? 10 steps away. They both take one step in the same direction. If they were 10 steps before, after one step, everybody, how far apart are they now? If they were 10 steps away from each other, they both take one step forward, they're still gonna be 10 steps away. But this person takes an extra step. So notice how that first step cancels out. They're still gonna be 10 steps away because even though this person might get one step closer, he gets one step further. So they're still the same distance away. But this person takes two steps. They take the second extra step. And so instead of being 10 steps away, now they're nine steps away. So what does that mean for the rate? What that means for the rate is, is if this person takes two steps per second and this person takes one step per second, the rate that the person is catching up at is one step every second. We said they started off 10 steps away, then nine, then eight, then seven. And so they're getting closer at a rate of one step per second because you need to cancel out what they both do together and then you only count the extra, the catch up. So yeah, that's why. And so when we look at this situation here, let me just move this to the side here. That's why we look at this situation here with the planes catching up to each other. If this one's going 400 miles an hour and this one's going 480 miles an hour, that first 400 miles per hour, every hour, they're both gonna go 400 miles. But it's the other plane that's behind that's gonna go the extra 80. And that's the catch up rate. We're looking for the time for them to catch up to each other. We need the rate, the catch up rate, and we need the distance that they're trying to catch up. They're 720 apart. Yeah, they're 720 apart. We see that right there. 720 miles ahead. And so the way that we get the rate, because they're going in the same direction, we cancel what they both go through. And so the rate, the true rate, will be 480 miles per hour minus 400 miles per hour, which is going to give us 80 miles per hour. And so that's what we can plug in. My party people, before I continue, does the idea of finding the true rate make sense to you? Because they're going in the same direction, we canceled out what they both cover, revealing the catch-up speed, the extra that the other plane is traveling at. Cool. Got a handful of people there. And again, be honest. I'm not here to stroke my own ego. I want you guys to be honest about where your head's at because if you're still at a point where you're still needing to work on your ability to work with numbers or translate the English into math, then this may be a little far from where we are. That's fine. But we have to be honest so we can make the adjustments. Cool. So with that, Gotcha, sounds good, yep, same direction, mean subtract. So our true rate is 80. So when we plug in what we have, our distance is 720. Our catch up rate is 80 miles per hour. And then the time that they catch up at, we'll figure it out. We'll divide both sides by 80. And so from there, boom, cancels out, everybody, 720 divided by 80, we can cancel out those zeros. What's 72 divided by eight? What will that be? 72 divided by eight? 
That's right, Steph. It's going to be nine, and that'll be nine hours. It'll take nine hours for the first plane to catch up to the other. So I'm going to label this in terms of the steps that we did. This right over here was step one. Um, and then this is just the example that we used. So we can actually just go ahead and erase this. And over here was step two. So long story short, for those of you who have not worked too often with multiple rates for the same scenario, so two objects moving at the same time, if those objects are moving in the same direction, then what will happen is you will subtract the rates because you cancel out what they both go through. If they're going in opposite directions, well, they're not covering the same ground. This one goes this way, this one goes that way. They're not covering the same ground, so you add their rates or distances together. As always, my party people, thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate you guys. And as always, if you haven't heard, we do host free classes once a week right here on YouTube. So go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know the exact details when any class is, you can go to our schedule page. And on top of that, you can get the links for the next classes by texting 833-321-0182, asking about it. I got your back, my party people. Let's ace the ASVAB.